but we're asking you to give our negotiators and our experts the time and the space to do their jobs. And that includes asking you while we negotiate that you hold off imposing new sanctions. Now, I'm not saying never. I just told you a few minutes ago, if this doesn't work, we're coming back and asking you for more. I'm just saying not right now. Let me be very clear. This is a very delicate diplomatic moment. And we have a chance to address peacefully one of the most pressing national security concerns that the world faces today with gigantic implications of the potential of conflict. We're at a crossroads. We're at one of those really hinge points in history. One path could lead to an enduring resolution in international communities' concerns about Iran's nuclear program. The other path could lead to continued hostility and potentially to conflict. And I don't have to tell you that these are high stakes. We have an obligation to give these negotiations an opportunity to succeed. And we can't ask the rest of the P5 plus one and our partners around the world to hold up their ends of the bargain if the United States isn't going to uphold its end of the bargain. If we appear to be going off on our own tangent and do whatever we want, we will potentially lose their support for the sanctions themselves. Because we don't just enforce them by ourselves. We need their help. And I don't want to threaten the unity that we currently have with respect to this approach, particularly when it doesn't cost us a thing to go through this process knowing that we could put sanctions in place additionally in a week, and we would be there with you seeking to do it. <clears throat> I don't want to give the Iranians a public excuse to flout the agreement. It could lead our international partners to think that we're not an honest broker, and that we didn't mean it when we said that sanctions were not an end in and of themselves, but a tool to pressure the Iranians into a diplomatic solution. Well, we're in that. And six months will fly by so fast, my friends, that before you know it, we're either going to know which end of this we're at or not. It's possible also that it could even end up decreasing the pressure on Iran by leading to the fraying of the sanctions regime. I will tell you that there were several P5 plus one partners at the table ready to accept an agreement significantly less than what we fought for and got in the end.